Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today's chapter is gametogenesis. Okay, we go directly to the overview of this this chapter. In this chapter, the main thing is we know about the mechanism of uh, gametogenesis and also the hormonal regulation. Okay, in male and female. Before we go to the mechanism and hormonal regulation, we will look into the structure of the male um, microstructure. Okay, there are about six key wording here: uh, seminiferous tubule, sertoli cell, leydig cells, four compartments of the uh, cross section of seminiferous tubule, blood testis barrier, and cytoplasmic bridges. So these structures here helps us to understand the mechanism involved in formation of the sperm okay for female uh, the structure involved in the micro uh, involved microstructure of the ovary so uh, this um, structure of ovary we will we will look in chapter 5 which is ovarian cycles all right Okay, the first few slides before we go to the structures and also the mechanism is about origin of sex cells. So, sperms and ovum comes from primordial germ cells. These primordial germ cells, PGC, uh, is a pluripotent cells. Okay. These germ cells can, can differentiate into different types of cells which has specific function during embryo development. PGCs will migrate. Will migrate to developing gonad. Will migrate to genital ridge. That genital ridge eventually become uh, the gonad. Okay. Uh, and this germ cell will be placed that in in that gonad, and eventually they will become the spermatogonia or ugonia. Okay, this diagram over here, you can see the green color, blue color, and red color. Blue, green, and red color is. The, germ, the cells that migrate during embryo development. The green color is cellomic epithelial soma cells. The blue color mesonephric primordial cells. The red color primordial germ cells. These three cells migrate to genital ridge uh, in embryo uh, development. During embryo development. Okay. So eventually, these three cells will differentiate into specific cells. As you can see here, if the baby is is a if the baby is a male, okay, the PGC eventually uh, at later at later stage of the life, uh, it will become the sperm. Okay. The green color just now, cellomic epithelial soma cell, differentiate into supporting cell. In male, we call it cytoli cell. In female, we call it follicle cells. The green color mesonephric primordial cells will differentiate into ladic cell, which is the cells that secrete sex hormone testosterone. In female, uh, differentiate into tika cell. This tika cell will produce the progesterone or estrogen. Yeah, estrogen. So, uh, the slide over here, the right, the right, right hand side. This is actually uh, this slide here to show you the about the migration of the three cells. Okay. This dot here is the the cells, PGCs, um, cellomic epithelial soma cells, mesonephric primordial cells. So, these cells migrate to the 
genital ridge genital ridge somewhere around here okay when we zoom out that this uh, that small circle here you can see here the curvy part here is actually this part over here okay so that cells migrate to the genital ridge okay and then we zoom out that genital ridge here so that pgc's um mesonephric salomic epithelial salomic epithelial soma cells place themselves here at genital ridge eventually differentiate into the specific cells pgc's uh uh, stay at stay as germ cells uh, differentiate into spermatogonia in female into oogonia so I hope this um, this slide helps you to understand the migration of the cells during embryonic development okay so still in origin of sex cells, that's all right. So mechanism, uh, this the right hand side slide mechanism for both. Okay, in sexual reproduction for for complex animal. So gametogenesis to produce the gametes. When the gametes is present, so the organism will um, will meet their partner and copulate. Eventually, the two gametes, egg and sperm, will meet to fertilize sexual reproduction. Okay. In gametogenesis, the 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 spermatogonia eventually produce four haploid spermatids. In female, oogonia produce one haploid ovum and polar body. Okay. So a few uh, overview information before we go to specific spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis takes place throughout life, from baby from, from embryo development until baby, until puberty, and until aging. The mitotic division of the spermatogonia continues, but for female, mitotic division. Uh, start during embryo development and stop or finish up during right before the baby born okay meaning the female when the the baby girl born the mitotic division already finished all uh, all ugonia is at uh, stage Entering meiotic division one. All right. So we go to uh, spermatogenesis. So the first part of spermatogenesis, we look into the structure. So the structure, uh, sperm production is in testes. So inside this test, inside the testes, a lot of seminiferous tubules. Many coil of seminiferous tubule. We cut across that seminiferous tubules. We can see Sertoli cells, Leydig cells, capillary, and different stage of sperms, developing sperms. Okay, this slide over here. So, um, two compartment, two broader compartment, extra. Uh, cellular tubular or interstitial uh, environment at intracellular tubular compartment so this intracellular tubular compartment there are two compartment inside basal and abdominal we will focus uh, the basal and abdominal later vascular and interstitial is around here Okay, interstitial fluid. Vascular is uh, in this compartment here, we have blood capillaries also. 
skin the vasculum. Okay, so this is inside the seminiferous tubules. This is one Sertoli cell. And this is one Sertoli cell. Okay. B cell is between... the outer perimeter and the membrane of the cell, Sertoli cells at the outer perimeter. At luminal compartment Is actually wait. At luminal compartment is after the tight junction of the blood testis barrier, the tubular fluid inside the seminiferous tubule toward the center of the seminiferous tubule that is the adluminal compartment so there are four compartments um, vascular is the blood capillaries at the in extra tubular compartment interstitial is actually the outside environment here okay uh, basal is the outer perimeter and in between the cell membrane of Sertoli cell before the tight junction here okay and at lumina so these four compartment will help you to understand the stages of the spermatogenesis and also the structure of this structure, blood testis barrier here. Blood testis barrier. Barrier formed by tight junction between two adjacent, adjacent Sertoli cells. Okay. Here, the blood testis barrier. Okay. So the outer perimeter is over here. The outer membrane is over here. Okay, so we have the adluminal, sorry, sorry, the basal compartment before the tight junction. Okay, and then we have the adluminal compartment. After tight junction, toward the center of the uh, seminiferous tubule. This one relate with the stages of the spermatogenesis. Okay, spermatogonium will undergo mitotic division. When this spermatogonia undergo mitotic division, uh, multiple times. It's not just one time. Uh, two times. I think five times. Okay. Uh, before uh, before they enter the mitotic division 1, then the tight junction will open briefly to pass the primary spermatocyte. Okay, so this is explanation of the Sertoli cells. So Sertoli cells has this gap junction. The protein is N-cadurins protein gap junction together with the cytoplasmic channels uh, the tightest tissue barrier in mammalian body so Tolisal nourish the developing cells 
control the rate of spermatogenesis by producing ABP um, secret seminum fluid. Okay, uh, and produce the inhibin to give negative feedback to FSH. Leydig cells are uh, located between between in between seminiferous tubules, the extra tubular compartment just now, and this Leydig cell secrete uh, testosterone. Okay, before we go to spermatogenesis. Uh, let's discuss on the uh, structure and also origin of sex cells. All right.